Hi, I'm Constant Violinist Hannah Warmer and this is my advanced bow technique video. So um, hopefully you'll like this. If you are not on advanced or haven't seen the other videos, I would suggest going through the basic video first of all, then the intermediate, then the advanced. This advanced video is purely for people who have been playing for a number of years, who are very well aware of how to use their fingers, finger, finger flexibility, and are about grade 7 or 8 onwards. Um, if there's anything that I just said that you're not sure about, check out the previous videos just to get yourself up to speed. So, um, by this stage, you should have a very good bow hold, you should know where the fingers go, you should know the uses of the fingers, and I'll just go over that now. So basically, the gripping fingers are these two, and the thumb comes behind, I'm trying to get a good angle there. Um, the bow hold is not a push, but it's a hold. Um, you should have flexibility in your knuckles up here, and at the heel of the bow, the weight should be into the little finger, and at the point of the bow, the weight should be into the index finger. Um, you should also have a good wrist, which is up nice and high, with the weight going into the bow, and nice and low with the weight pulling into the bow. In my intermediate video, I talk about how to get more weight from the wrist into the finger, so perhaps go and look at that if you're not sure. What we're going to deal with today is the very final stages, so things that sometimes people go to do their music degree and they're still not aware of. So it's at this stage, this is how to make your violin concerto pop, how to um, get your playing to the back of the concert hall and it comes from making a big loud powerful sound on your violin and that does not come from pushing in or tension by doing that you'll create um, health problems later in life or very soon you'll be off with injury but also you won't create a pleasing sound so this is the final stage on what you do with the um, bow to really get the best you can out of your instrument um, Okay, so first of all, people often actually underuse their bow fingers. I see a lot of fingers even in pro orchestras or um, university orchestras with these things like this and I could just slip my, and the only thing that seems to be working is that thumb and that index finger and the rest are just, yeah, they're in the right place but they're sloppy and they're not, they're inactive. Okay, so we want every finger working. So the first thing we're going to do is, I'd recommend you do this with a partner. Get your partner to hold the bow, get your hand nice and floppy, like that, and you're going to put just the fingertips on the bow. Now what I want you to do is get your arm to hang, and see that they're hanging even more, like dead arm hanging. It's hard to do this on your own, so get a friend. So literally the bow can pull you around and those fingers, that grip there, it's not, sorry I'm hitting a curtain, it's not a grip, What would it, like, like if you're hanging from a cliff, but you'll find that you don't have to be stiff to do it, it's actually the complete opposite. It's hanging from a cliff kind of, everything else floppy. Okay, that is the first stage, that gripping of the bow. Now, we're going to talk about instead of, you don't need to be placing your fingers and getting them all in the right place anymore. Yeah, you're close to being pro. So, we're talking about how to get a perfect uh, bow grip for your hand. And everyone's hand's different. As you can see, mine is very, very small and quite wide. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is, the simplest way is, that there is your perfect bow hold. Just get the bow hold sorted out from it. So the place of the finger, see so many people with too wide a finger, too small a finger. For you, it's that. See the gap in my fingers? That's my bow hold. Simple as. But only try that as once you've gone on to the advanced level. Obviously you know about turning the bow and playing on um, the hairs of the bow. But now we're going to talk about the arm. Any form of tension in your arm at all will mean that you cannot get the best sound of, out of your instrument. And you may think you're not tense, but if you play four hours at orchestra, does your arm ache, then there's a little bit of tension there. We have to remove all tension. And so, what we're going to do is go back to this bow hold again, well, this technique again, and I want you to really let your arm hang. 
and start moving the bow around and the wrist should be floppy the arm floppy the upper arm floppy like it's hanging there like it's a dead arm it's best to do this with someone else moving the bow around and this is a technique I often do in workshops um, that complete and utter dead arm feeling that's how you should be holding and playing your violin this is the thing that's working and the arm is as floppy as can be once we get that on the string we're going to engage what we said earlier on which is engaging these fingers knowing that at the heel the weight comes into here and the wrist is up and it's not just up like this though just for the sake of it because your teacher said wrist up it's up taking all the weight of the arm into the little finger and down here the wrist is low so low hanging 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 from the index finger okay i'm going to move back a little bit now so to get the best sound out of your instrument you're going to have to make some bad sounds okay so we're going to start the bow all the way into the little finger then i want you to increase the pressure and actually hang from the instrument see how slow you can go and how much how floppy your arm can get but don't be scared of making a bad sound trust that your fingers and only your fingers can control the bow but make your arm as heavy as you can into the wrist pulling down into the wrist now pulling the wrist up but the floppy weight of the arm still going into those fingers working like that will soon produce at least 20 percent louder sound so that is an advanced final touch on your playing how to get the most out of your instrument from this excellent bow hold if oops <laughs> if you like what you see make sure you subscribe and also leave a comment below to let me know what you'd like me to do tutorials about